Hey, what's up guys? Guardian here, coming to you guys with a update video today. Um, so I haven't made a video in a couple of months, and uh, you might be wondering why, because of course we had the new era of Divines come out recently, and uh, yeah, how do I put this? Well, if the thumbnail wasn't a dead giveaway, um, basically we, well me and my friend group, uh, we haven't received our cases um, for set 1 or set 2. Um, however, what I will say, we did get set 2 sent out to us, uh, literally, like, yesterday, um, but it wasn't in the form of a case, it was actually 20 loose boxes, which is a little bit, you know, <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see where that could go wrong, and, um, I kind of wanted to explain sort of, like, what's been going on recently, and, um, my annoyances with it. And uh, I'll try to keep this discreet and short because I don't want to give you all like a life story here. But essentially, when we pre-ordered the case with set one, um, we got told that there was going to be a delay. And we were like, oh, OK, you know, these sort of things happen. So we waited and we waited and then a month went by and we hadn't been communicated with to say, you know, what was happening. So we messaged the uh, the online shop that we purchased with. To say, hey, what's up? Um, they then said that, oh, um, the ETA for the uh, the set actually got pushed back. Um, so instead, we're going to have to wait another month now instead of receiving it, you know, that following month that we would wait for, right? So we waited a month, expecting it to be that month to uh, for it to arrive. And then the ETA got pushed back to the following month. And it's like, right, so we're not going to get this till two months time now potentially that's even if they get the stock in so yeah kind of annoying um but then it became more annoying when um <laughs> we also found out that set two was going to get delayed and um like i said fortunately they have received stock but the problems that they've been experiencing basically it comes down to a uk distributor that they've been using uh very recently because like, I'll say this now, the shop that we use, we've had zero issues with them, um, like, all of last year. But, like, we've been using them for over a year now, and we've had no problems like this. Like, these issues have been the worst we've ever experienced, and probably for them as well. Like, this is probably the worst service they have, like, given to some of their customers, and are probably getting a lot of negative feedback from this. And, understandably, they have basically updated us to say, like, they are going to be moving away from the UK distributor and going back to their EU uh, distributor instead. Um, which will, it will make things a little bit more expensive, but we, like, they're going to be more reliable then by having the EU distributor. Um, and hopefully these problems will, you know, solve themselves out. But yeah, in terms of the set one case, uh, we kind of don't know what to expect right now um the current eta is that it's going to be mid july for us to hopefully get it uh well for them to get it for them to you know send to us but at the current rate um my doubt is you know <laughs> i'm close to 100 percent in that it's not going to happen uh so i think once we've officially got the statement to say that they're not going to be able to supply us the product um we're probably just going to look into a refund at that point i think um because, yeah, waiting two months since release for set one is ridiculous. Like, our friend group has literally just missed out on the entirety of the set one meta. And set two just came out recently, and we can't really do anything with it. Um, and with the current situation, with getting 20, like, singleton boxes instead of, like, a sealed case, it's kind of a joke. And it's like, we kind of wanted the guarantee of the case ratios. Um, but at this point, we're so behind with everything that we kind of just bit the bullet. Well, they have bit the bullet because I'm actually not in the set two split. Um, the only thing I needed from that set was the Brazil support. But, you know, <laughs> insert, you know, fairly odd parents meme of. And this is where I'd, uh, you know, put my Brazil deck if I had one. Um, so, yeah, I've just not been able to play Brazil at all. Um, I, d I don't have the deck. I don't have the dog promo, you know, the really important Keta staple. Uh, speaking of staples, I don't have the Keta generic Energy Blast Grade 2 um, from Set 1. All these important things I don't have, and 
it sucks. Like, it just sucks. And it's been very frustrating um, because I've also had, like, life things happen over the past month or two. Um, that has been a challenge. But having this on top of it has just been really frustrating. And you can kind of understand why I probably haven't <laughs> had any videos to post. Um, but what I will say is that I do have some ideas of some videos I might want to do soon. Um, as you see here, I do have some deck boxes in front of me, which is what I want to spend the other half of the video talking about. So in terms of keeping my interest high, um, I pretty much played the hell out of my Vermilion deck. So Vermilion is a deck, very funnily, I thought about getting rid of. And um, I'm so glad I didn't because this deck is really, really fun to play. It is super aggressive. And um, yeah, I absolutely love playing it. And it's actually got some new support coming out in set three, which, uh, you know, hopefully there aren't any issues with that either, but we'll find out. Um, but yeah, Vermilion's been a really fun deck for me to uh, pilot recently. So yeah, I've been playing that a lot. And unfortunately, I've played it so much that I kind of don't want to play it anymore right now until we get the new card. Um, so saying that, Another deck I played a lot, even before Vermilion, but I'm actually uh, going back to it um, now, is uh, my Ezel deck. So Ezel, for the most part, really hasn't changed. I think I swapped maybe like one of the orders around to have a, like an extra copy in. I think I took one Sargis out um, to put like an extra Ezel order in, but yeah, the deck's pretty much the same since I last profiled it, and um, yeah, it's... Like I say, Ezel, uh, similar with the Vermilion, it's just another fun deck that I just like playing. And uh, yeah, Ezel was actually going to be the deck uh, that I was going to like take apart uh, to play Rizal for a while. And then once I'd, you know, played Rizal for a good while, maybe swap back to Ezel in the future when it also gets a, you know, new support card from set three. But that's not happening. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go back to playing Ezel. Now, I do have one more deck here, and this one is a brand new one that I decided to make. Very recently, actually, because all the cards in here were really cheap, and um, I got the entire core, plus the new support cards from Divine Set 2, for about £30, which was pretty surprising, and I got pretty lucky as well. Um, uh, one of the sites that I used um, to buy the cards, they had four copies of every card in, and I'm like... Okay, I'm getting that now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, because I don't know, maybe the popularity of uh, Solarian would actually go up a little bit because of the new support. Because the new support it got from set two is actually insane. Like this thing is busted. Like if you've read this card, uh, Lectures, uh, this thing's amazing for the deck. So uh, yeah, I might actually do a profile in this deck uh, on the channel, like after this video, because at this rate, I pretty much can't really do anything else. Um, I was even considering doing like an updated like sleeve review for like Dragon Shield uh, at a certain point, but like I said, those plans kind of just went out the window. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, right now these are the decks that I'm playing. Um, so I started out playing like Ezel a lot, and then I went over to Vermilion, and now because I've waited so long for the first couple of sets of Divines, I have uh, been down really bad and decided to pick up um, Solarian. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. But um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. I think I wanted to keep this rather short, uh, not too long. I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update and sort of like give you all um, basically a rundown of like what I've been doing recently. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have been enjoying Divine because I haven't been. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, hopefully all these issues get resolved soon and um, we can actually start playing the game properly um, sooner rather than later. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video, whatever it'll be. It'll probably be a deck profile for Solarian Legacy, because uh, I've actually been enjoying this deck uh, quite a bit. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. This is Guardian, signing out.